Magandang araw sa atin po lahat. Okay, so now we're in the week 4 of basic calculus and our lesson for today is derivatives. Okay, so let me tell you the objectives about this lesson. At the end of the learning episode, the students are expected to relate the derivative of a function to the slope of the tangent line. To find the derivative of each function, to apply the definition of the derivative of a function at a given number. So now we're going to mention and discuss the definition and the formula of the derivative. Okay, so when we say the formula of the derivative, it says that the derivative of a function f of x denoted f prime of x at any x in the domain of the given function is defined as f prime of x is equal to limit where your h approaches to zero, then f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, so this is the formula of the derivative. So now, let me perform on how to find the derivative of every function. Okay, so now we're going to find the derivative of the following functions. Okay, so our first function is f of x is equal to 4x plus 7. So ang gagawin natin po ay we're going to recall the formula of the derivative Okay, so now we're going to find the f of x plus h since may f of x na po tayo. Okay, so our f of x plus h is 4. Instead of writing x, we're going to write parentheses, then x plus h, then plus 7. So we're going to replace x with x plus h. Okay, so this is now our f of x plus h. So now, what are we going to do is we're going to substitute the f of x plus h and f of x with their respective functions. Okay. So, here is the first step of solution. So, bale, ang f of x plus h natin ay 4 times x plus h plus 7. Then, our f of x is 4x minus 7. Then, what are we going to do next is we're going to perform the multiplication through distributive method. Since 4 is the common factor here, all we have to do is to multiply with every term. So 4 times x will be 4x. Then 4 times h will be 4h. Then here, with minus 4x plus 7, it will be negative times 4x will become negative 4x. Then negative times plus 7 will be minus 7 because negative times positive will be negative. Okay? So, here is the second step of the solution. Okay. So, as we see that 4 is being multiplied with x while 4 is being multiplied with h since 4 is the common factor. Tapos yung negative sign natin dito, yun po yung common factor. Yung 4x kasi positive kaya naging minus 4h. Yung 7 kasi ng kanina plus 7 siya kaya naging minus 7 siya. So ang gagawin po natin is we're now going to simplify by observing the like terms. So 4x minus 4x is 0 while 7 minus 7 is 0. So ang matitira ay 4h. Okay, so 4h over h. So alin man diyan ang common factor natin? So, h is the common factor here. So, we're going to perform the cancellation once again. So, alin po ang matitira, which is 4. Okay. So, based on this limit, we're going to use the constant law. Since 4 is a constant function, okay, so ang ikakalabas niya ay 4 pa rin. So, therefore, 4 is the derivative of this function. Okay. So, now we're going to move to the next function law. Okay, so our f of x is equal to x squared minus 9. So what are we going to do with f of x plus h? So we're going to replace x with x plus h, then squared minus 9. Okay, so now what are we going to do is, from the given, what are we going to do is to replace f times x plus h with this function, while f of x with this function. So, ito po yung next step natin, or first step. Ito, okay? 
So dito po, napapansin natin yung x plus h then squared minus 9, yun yung f of x plus h natin. While yung x squared minus 9, yun yung f of x natin. So ang gagawin po natin dito is the square of the binomial kasi exponent niya ay 2. And x plus h is a binomial. So what are we going to do is the FOIL method. So magiging x squared to, tapos plus xh, magiging xh, tapos magiging h squared. So we're going to combine like terms here. So since dalawang xh, magiging 2xh, okay. So ito po yung kinalabas natin. Okay, bakit negative x squared plus 9 siya po? Kasi una, Diba minus sa labas, yun yung common factor natin. Minultiply natin siya sa x squared since yung x squared ay positive, magiging minus x squared siya. Tapos yung negative 9 sa loob, magiging positive dahil negative times negative, magiging plus siya. So ang mangyayari dito, we're going to simplify the like terms. So x squared minus x squared will be 0. Then negative 9 plus 9 is 0. So ang matitira ay 2xh plus h squared over h. So ito ang ikakalabas natin. Okay? So, ano ang common factor dito? Ang common factor natin ay h, tiba? h. So, ang matitira ay 2x. Tapos, h squared divided by h will be h. Okay? So, ito ang ikakalabas natin. Since there are h at both sides, okay, what are we going to do is to cancel. Then, what are we going to do next is to remain the 2x plus h. Okay, so using the value of h here sa limit po, yung h natin po ay magiging 0. So, isa substitute siya natin. So, 2x plus 0, magiging 2x siya. Si 2x ay derivative tong function na to. It means to say 2x is the derivative of this function. Okay? So, now, we're going to move to the examples wherein we're going to find the slope and the equation of the tangent. Okay, so this is one of the most important applications that we need to know in the derivatives. Okay, so we're going to find the slope and equation of the tangent line to the graph of the equation at a given point. Pag sinabi kasi slope, diba yun yung parang gradient? It is studied, inaaral natin siya nung grade 8 tayo, nung nag-aaral po tayo ng linear equations or linear functions. Okay, so ito yung given natin. Yung function natin is 2x squared plus 1, tapos yung point na napap pass nila ay 1.3. So, we're going 1 and 3 pala. 1 and 3. Tapos, we're going to recall the formula of the derivative. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin is we're going to find the slope first. Yung f prime of 1 natin po, bakit 1 po? Kasi ito yung value of x. So, ito po yung slope natin. To find the slope, what are we going to do is we're going to find the derivative at this point or the value of x. So, yung x natin, napapalitan siya sa 1 kasi po, yung x natin po, yun ay 1. Kaya nagpalitan sila. Nag-evaluate lang tayo, nag-substitute lang tayo. So, ang gagawin natin dito is, hahanapin na natin si f of 1 plus h. So, yung 1 plus h natin, yun yung x natin. Okay? Okay, so, first, Yung f of 1 plus h natin ay magiging 2 times 1 plus h squared plus 1. Imbis na x, magiging 1 plus h. Tapos yung f of 1 natin is we're going to evaluate. So, 2 times 1 squared plus 1. Okay. So, our next step is we're going to simplify po using various methods. So, yung 1 plus h squared, yun yung square of the binomial, then FOIL method. Tapos, dito naman po, sa loob, okay. Pag sinabing 2 times 1 squared, maging 1 squared natin, magiging 1 plus 1. So, 2 times 1, magiging 2, plus 1, magiging 3. Okay, kaya naging 3 siya dito. Okay. So, kinapi na natin in the rest. Okay, so what are we going to do next is we're going to multiply using the 
distributive method. So, ito ang ikakalabas natin. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. While 2 times 2h will be 4h. Tapos 2 times h squared magiging 2h. So, ang gagawin natin is magsisimplify po tayo. So, 2 plus 1 magiging 3, minus 3 magiging 0. So, ang matitira po ay 4h plus 2h squared. So, magpa-factorize po tayo ano ang common factor natin. Okay? So, ang common factor natin ay h. Tapos, bukod pa doon, ang common factor ng 4 ay 2 ay 2. So, kaya naging 2h. So, 4h divided by 2h magiging... 2, tapos 2h squared over 2h magiging h kasi 2 divided by 2 is 1 then h squared divided by h magiging h okay, so ang common factor natin ngayon ay h, so ikakancel na natin together tapos ang mangyayari po magiging 2 times 2 plus h na siya then we multiplied using the distributive method Okay, so 2 times 2 magiging 4, then 2 times h magiging 2h. So, we're going to substitute h with 0. So, 2 times 0 ay malamang ay 0 na siya. Okay, so dito naman po, yung h natin ay 4 plus 2 times 0. So, 2 times 0 is 0. Tapos i-add natin siya sa 4, kaya magiging 4 siya. Kaya 4 ang sagot natin. So, therefore, ang slope na natin po is 4. Yun ang slope of tangency natin po. Okay? So, now, we're going to formulate the equation. Okay? So, we're going to find the equation. Given that our slope is 4 and the given point is 1 and 3. Okay, so we're going to recall this formula, which is a slope point formula y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So, where x sub 1 and y sub 1 is a given point and m is the slope. So, bale, yung 1 and 3 natin po ay x sub 1 and y sub 1 natin. Okay, so we're now we're going to substitute with the respective values. Okay, so yung y sub 1 natin is 3, while yung m natin is 4. Then, yung x sub 1 natin is 1. Then, now, we're going to simplify, okay, so, this by distributive property. So, 4 times x is 4x. Then, 4 times 1 is 4. Tapos, ilay pa natin yung minus 3 sa kabila, kaya naging plus 3 siya. Okay, so, ito po yung equation natin ng tangent. Okay, pag sinabsitute po natin using the point, okay po, if our x is 1, so, y equals 4 times 1 minus 1 giving 4 minus 1 kasi 4 times 1 is 4. Then, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, yun. So, ito na po ang equation ng tangent natin. So, now we're going to proceed to the next example. Okay. Dito naman po, ito po ay rational function. f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 2 at point 3 and 1. Okay, so yung x natin po is 3. So, ang gagawin natin is same thing. Okay, so ano f of 3 plus h natin? So, magiging 1 over 3 plus h minus 2. So, magiging 1 over 1 plus h. So, ano f of 3 natin? So, yung 3 natin is 1 over 3 minus 2 magiging 1 over 1 magiging 1 siya. Okay. So, dito po, bakit naging 3 plus 8 siya? Kasi yung x natin is 3. So, ito po yung first step. Okay. So, since nagsasubstitute tayo based sa given. Okay. Next, we simplified sa denominator. Then, what happened is 1 divided by 1 is 1. Then, what are we going to do here is we're going to subtract rational expressions. So, yung 1 is 1 plus h over 1 plus h. Then, magko-compute po tayo sa numerator. So, 
So, magiging 1 minus 1 minus h over 1 plus h. So, magiging negative h over 1 plus h. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin is dito naman po. Okay. So, ipapakita na natin muna ang next step. Okay. So, ang gagawin po natin is we're going to divide fractions. So, divide h. So, yung kakalabas nito ay negative h over 1 plus h, then 1 over h. So, ikakancel na natin together. So, matitira ay negative 1 over 1 plus h po. Okay, so ito po yung kinalabasan natin. Okay, then since our h is 0, we're going to substitute h with 0. Okay, so magiging 1 plus 0 na sa baba. Tapos i-retain na natin yung numerator natin. So 1 plus 0 is 1. Then negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. So ito na po ang slope natin. Okay, so what are we going to do next is we're going to find the equation of the tangent line. So, given na po yung slope natin, pati yung x sub 1 and y sub 1 natin, we're going to mention the slope point formula. So, ito po yung formula na natin. Okay, so we're going to label the given. Okay, so yung x sub 1 natin and y sub 1. Ano yung x sub 1 natin? Yun yung 3 natin. Ano yung y sub 1 natin? Yun yung 1 natin. Ano yung m natin? Negative 1. That is the slope. Okay, so we're going to substitute. So ito yung ikakalabas, ito po yung y sub 1 which is 1, then yung x sub 1 is 3, then yung m natin is negative 1. Then we're going to simplify, so negative 1 times x minus 3 is negative x plus 3 by distributive property. Bakit plus 3 siya? Kasi negative 1 times minus 3 is plus 3. Bakit negative 1 times x ay negative x? Kasi negative times positive equals negative. So, ililipat na natin yung minus 1 sa kabila. Okay, so magiging plus 1 na siya. Kasi nag-transpose na po tayo. Okay, so negative 3, ay, sorry, negative x plus 3 plus 1 natin, which is negative x plus 4. Kasi 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Okay, so negative x plus 4 na to. Okay, so this is the equation of the tangent line. So, i-check po natin. So, your x is 3. Then, isa-substitute natin. Negative 3 plus 4 is equal to 1. So, yung y natin is 1. Okay, so now, we're going to find the derivative again. However, we're going, may kasamang evaluation na po. We're going to find the derivative of a function at a given number. So, meron akong simple technique dito. Okay, first, recall the formula of the derivative. So, our f of x is equal to limit h then 0. Then f times x plus h minus f of x over h. So, ang ginawa ko, Yung 2 natin kasi ay x, pinalitan ko siya. Yung x na to ay magiging 2, kaya naging f of 2 plus h minus f of 2. Okay, so therefore, anong f of 2 plus h natin? Ang f of 2 plus h is 3 times 2 plus h squared minus 8. Then ang f of 2 natin is 3 times 2 squared minus 8. So, isi-simplify na natin is... 3 times 2 squared magiging 3 times 4, then minus 8. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin sa 2 plus h squared is the square of the binomial along with the FOIL method. So, dito naman po, si 2 plus h squared ay magiging 2 plus h times 2 plus h. So, magiging 4 plus 2h, tapos 2h, plus h squared. Then, combining like terms po. Okay. So, itong ikakalabas natin. Okay. So, we're going, we can perform what's inside the parenthesis and the bracket first. It's up to us na lang po if we're going to simplify 
it's our strategy, I mean. Okay, so 3 times 4 it will be 12. Then minus 8. Okay, pag min min multiply to sa 3, using the distributive property, 3 times 4 magiging 12. Then 3 times 4H magiging 12H. Then 3 times H squared magiging 3H squared. Okay, so ang gagawin natin is we're going to simplify what's inside the parentheses. Okay, so 12 minus 8 is 4. So therefore, is simplify natin, 12 minus 8 is 4. Then 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay. Kaya kinansel ko na siya. I just simplified it according to the like terms. Okay, so ang natira dito ay 12h plus 3h squared then over h. So, eto yung nangyari. First, we're going to factorize using the common factor, which is h. However, ano yung common factor ng 3 at saka 12? 3. Kaya 3h yung common factor. Kasi, Yung 12H at saka 3H squared, may mga factors ng 3H. Okay? So, 12H divided by 3H is 4. Kasi yung H natin cancelled, then 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then 3H squared over 3H. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then H squared divided by H is H. Tapos, ang mangyayari dito, Ito yung factorized na polynomial. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is ikakancel na natin si H. So, ang matitira ay 3 times 4 plus H. Okay. So, what are we going to do is we're going to replace H with 0. Kasi yung value of H natin is 0. So, magiging 3 times 4 plus 0 na to. So, mangyayari, 4 plus 0 is 4. Kaya, nagiging 3 times 4. Kasi 4 plus 0 is 4. So, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So, therefore, ang f prime of 2 natin is 12. Okay? So, we're now going to move to the next slide. Okay. So, our f of x is 2x squared plus 7x at x equals negative 3. So, we're going to find f prime of negative 3. So, what are we going to do is to recall the formula of the derivative. Okay. So, now we're going to substitute x with negative 3. Kaya, ang ikakalabas, f of negative 3 plus h, then minus f of negative 3. Yung x kasi ay negative 3. Kaya, pinalitan ng x with negative 3. Okay, so, we're going to elaborate what is f of 3, negative 3 plus h. So, ang gagawin natin is we're going to substitute this function. So, x will be negative 3 plus h, then squared. So, it applies to all um, terms na may x. So, sinubstitute ko yung x dito sa negative 3 plus h. Paano kung si f of negative 3 natin? Si 2, 2 times negative 3 squared plus 7 times negative 3. Okay. So, ito yung first step natin. Okay. So, dito na, pinalitan na natin. So, ang gagawin natin sa negative 3 plus h natin is the square of the binomial So, negative 3 times negative 3 magiging 9. Then, negative 3h, then negative 3h plus h squared kasi Negative 3 times h is negative 3h. Then h times negative 3 is negative 3h. Then h times h is h squared. Then negative 3h minus 3h is 6h is minus 6h. Negative 3h minus 3h is negative 6h. 
then we're going to remain all the terms. Okay, so we're going to perform the distributive property of multiplication. So 7 times negative 3 magiging negative 21, then 7 times h ay magiging 7h. Tapos negative 3, sa loob ng parenthesis, so since exponent to sa labas magiging 9, tapos 7 times negative 3 ay magiging negative 21. So magsisimplify po tayo sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay, so 2 times 9 ay magiging 18. Tapos dito naman po, 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 6h is 12h. Then 2 times h squared is 2h squared. Okay, so again, using the ano, multiplication through distributive, positive times negative is negative. Then positive times positive is positive. So now we're going to solve what's inside the parenthesis. Okay, so 18 minus 21 is minus 3. Okay, so negative times negative is equal to positive. Okay, so we're now going to simplify. Bakit ganito ang kinalabas? 18 minus 21 is negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. So kinansal ko na siya. So negative 12h plus 7h is negative 5h. Okay, so ano yung common factor ng negative 5h plus 2h squared? So, pinactorize ko siya. Tinikot ko si H as the common factor. So, ito yung kinalabas natin. Okay. So, since H is the common factor of the numerator and the denominator here, ikakancel na natin. Ang matitira ay si negative 5 plus 2H. Okay. So, magiging negative 5 plus 2H, yun yung natira. Since our h is 0, okay, so 2 times 0. Kasi yung value of h natin is 0. So, negative 5 plus 2 times 0 ay magiging negative 5 plus 0. Magiging negative 5 po. 